Hi, it's Leslie Stalker, and we're back with part two of our three-part videos uh, with this uh, small chest. And if you remember, we started out, and it was this color yesterday. I went ahead and put a first coat on so you could see what it looked like when it dried. But I'm going to also show you how I paint this. Um, I'm using Annie Sloan chalk paint, and the color is duck egg. I just opened this paint today, and this is what I found is the best way for me. Um, I'll, when I decant the paint, I'll put it into one of these containers. And then there's always some residual that you can't get out of the can, and I will paint from the can, um, especially if there's just a little bit left, and that way I use up everything. So I probably won't need this. I'm going to move it over. And... See, there's not too much in there, but still enough. And so I'm going to go ahead, just use my brush, do some long strokes. My brush is a little bit damp, so it's spreading nicely, but we don't want it to drip, so I'm not going to wet it anymore. It's a nice, smooth surface, so actually pretty easy to paint. And I've got four more drawers, three more. I have three more drawers to paint. And so I'm going to just finish this one and we'll put that off to the side and then I'll move on and show you how I use paint to accentuate my um, details, my highlights, and my shadows. Rather than wax, I use cocoa uh, to paint in the shadows, and then I'll use uh, white to dry brush on the highlights. So uh, we're going to go on, and I'm going to show you how I like to paint in shadows and highlights. I've got Annie Sloan chalk paint and cocoa, one of my favorite colors. I'm going to squirt a little bit on my paper plate. And then for the highlights, I'm going to use some old white. And you can see, not too much, uh, just a little, enough to go back and forth. It really goes a long way. And I'm going to kind of dab it in, not worry too much about blending yet. You can see I've started painting in the shadows, and I'm going to take my brush, use the dark where I want the area to recede, and then I'm going to dip my brush, and you can see I'm dry brushing on some highlights. You're going to blend it, but what you want to do is see really not so much distinctive um, lines between the colors, but more the idea of shadows and highlights, lighting. So I'm doing this to create the look of uh, several layers of paint and with a smooth transition between the colors. And if you um, follow my blog, you'll, this will look familiar. I've used this color combination in a recent post called Always a Favorite. Okay, I'll go ahead and finish painting in the highlights and the shadows, and on the third step, we'll bring in the wax and seal the finish. Uh, if you like this, be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe so you'll see the next one as soon as it's released.